Good morning, cultists. The Citadel of Dusk Elves are now down to three settlements. We have the capital, Citadel of Dusk. We have uh, the Tip of Lustria and the Fortress of Dawn. And of course, we're about to surround and attack their last, well, realistically, last lord. But before I do that, um... Hmm... What I'm trying to do is fulfill this uh, mission to have four red crested skinks and the cohort of Sotek in Tehenowin's army. Ridiculous. He thinks it's ridiculous, apparently. And I think what we could do is, since we can't recruit troops here in the capes, um, I could recruit a lord like this guy and then have him. Uh, take the Red Crested Skinks to Tehenowin. Though he won't be able to move this turn, which I guess is fine. Uh, let's get you... You know what? We actually also have the Regiment of Renown, right? Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. So we just need to recruit three. Hmm. Now, since we have this guy here, I suppose we might as well use him, right? Yeah, yeah. What kind of lord is the Red Crested Skink Chief? Horned One, Ripperdactyl, Ancient Stegodon, Immortality, Warrior's Crest. Interesting. Hmm. And he's got no magics. Oh, I see. Very interesting. Huh. Seems like he would actually be a good one to lead units. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Similar to like the Soros Old Blood, I guess. Yeah. That'll be cool. Yeah, yeah, I guess he's kind of on par with that. Fair enough. Um. Okay, so let's get Mediocre in on this action here. And, uh, Tanowin. I think Tehenowin has the better troop composition, so we should probably use him to attack uh, Melwin here. Oh, I guess he's buggered off. Fair enough. Rinky, Mediocre, and Tehenowin. Go for it, buddy. Really? That's all you got? Fine, auto resolve. Ain't nobody got time to waste on that. And we now have 830... Um, can you actually reach that place? You can't. Okay, then let's actually get you back into our territory, recuperate, and then we'll uh, next turn attack the Citadel of Dusk. Fantastic. And the walls are down to what? 33% with seven breaches. Nice. Very nice. So you'll be able to hopefully get to Tehenowin next turn. And, uh, do the old switcheroo to hopefully fulfill that, um, and then... Is there something else after this? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we should probably try to get Lord Croak. So I'm thinking after we wipe out the, um, the, uh, Citadel of Dusk, I might actually begin the ritual. Because, um, well, we're kind of lagging behind a lot. Now, I could intervene with the Cult of Pleasure. Wait, what? That's an act of war? Oh, no. Okay, well, my economy kind of relies on uh, our trade with the Cult of Pleasure. Yeah. If I declare war on them now... Mmm. That could be really bad. Because I would lose out on a lot of money. Clan Rictus is, I guess, up north here, because they're doing that uh, ritual there, too. And Lothurn are down there, really. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. I'm very tempted, though. Very tempted, but considering the amount of money that I have right now, maybe not the best idea. Wait. Once we take these places, though, will our income go up significantly or no it is risky though isn't it it is quite risky 
Okay, uh, what can we have you do instead? Let's have you... You know what? Hang around Axolotl, that's fine. And let's have Vanthus move towards these guys who are... Foolishly declared war on us. I don't know what possessed them to attack us, but... So be it. Can you get there? Thank you. And then what's the vampiric corruption here? Uh, oh, this is still within our territory? Oh, it is! Interesting. I see. Okay, okay. Yeah, that vampiric corruption is gonna be an issue. So I'm assuming that's owned by the uh, Skaven. Hmm. Yes. Okay, has anyone not moved? To Hanuman, you could move. I could actually bring you closer to this guy, but I think he should be able to reach you with a march stance, right? Yeah, we should be all right. Road at Kodan, don't really care. Settlement upgrades. Imminent rebellion in the Headhunter's jungle. Okay, that's unfortunate. Actually, let me quickly look to see if perhaps there's some stuff that I can upgrade. Yeah, because we got the money. And I think the Forgotten Isles... Um... Well, we're not going to get the beasties here because the Mud Isles are much better for that. But wait, this is the Copper Desert, which extends up to the Golden Colossus. Okay. Then what about here? Oh no. They don't have much of anything. They're not even fully upgraded. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll get that then. And here... Ah, shit. This actually isn't a very good um, place for... Oh, the Chamber of Visions. Interesting. Hmm. Very tempting, actually. But maybe not. Yeah, it seems like the Forbidden Jungle isn't exactly the best place for unit recruitment, considering the size. Whereas the Great Turtle Isle can get some pretty good beasties here, I would say. Then again, don't we have another place where we're able to get uh, high quality beasties? Or am I mistaken? I could very well be mistaken. Mm, Altar of the Horned Rat. Now, there's about to be Rebellion here, so how about we get this garrisoned Old One Troll? So that we can get a better, well, garrison, right? The otherwise... I think we might be okay with... Stashing away 10,000 buckaronis. Really? Do you guys not have any um, dinosaur enclaves or whatever the hell they're called? Oh well. That's fine, I guess. Hmm. Now, the dwarves aren't exactly our biggest problem, so I think we can probably just leave them uh, be for the time being. Until we deal with... I see. He failed to do hinder replenishment on Vanthus. Alright, well, Vanthus doesn't need any replenishment, so I think that was a bit of a stupid thing to do in the first place, but... You know, additionally stupid because he failed to actually make a difference there. Alright, so we'll wipe out the Stuff Snatchers, and then... Do we move up north? Hmm... Tempting. Very tempting. But I don't know if that's the best idea. Go for it, Vanthus. Oh, come on! Jerks! What the hell? Okay. Transiform? What is that? That just sounds like a uh, fucking... Like, paperwork or something. Transiform, what a name. Yeah, you should be able to trade with... Tehanowin, yes? Okay, Tehanowin... Let's get these guys... Switched over. Did I do it? It's a new Wait, I thought. Don't I have it? I've got the red crested skinks in Tanoin's army. Come on, guys. What the hell? Unbelievable. Maybe we need to let it uh, turn past or something, and I guess he can't really move that much. Alright, fair enough. Then how about mediocre you. Lay siege to the Citadel of Dusk. Fantastic. Hey, there we go. Great. Kill a thousand enemies in battle? Oh my god, there's another part to this? The Prophet of Sotek's following has indeed grown many-fold, for the righteous lizard men of Chakwa 
rally to his call and to the hallowed word of Sotek himself. At last, the time has come to begin the great migration from Chakwa and take the fight directly to the Skaven's foul nest lairs and filthy warrens. For the serpent god's appetite for the right kind of slaughter must be fulfilled before he can return, bringing salvation to the lizardmen of Lustria. Great. Now Zolgar has... He causes fear when fighting high elves. Nice. Very nice. Let's see... Wall strength, still 1%. Mm. Should we do it now, or should we do it later? I'd say let's get mediocre to see it down. And of course, it is quite powerful. So, you know, there's that. Now, with Rinky in tow, how do you fare? Much better. Much, much better. Okay, can you switch back with uh, Tanawin so that he doesn't have to run around with red crested skinks? You know, as decent as they are, I think I prefer the Asaurus Warriors, right? Armor piercing, frenzy, poison attacks, aquatic. Yeah, I think in comparison to the um, Asaurus Warriors, I think the red crested skinks are much weaker. Mm. Okay, I guess we can actually take over the Citadel Dusk. Go for it. Auto resolve that shit. And nobody dead, right? Fantastic. Whoa, my god! Hell yeah! I'm not saying no to that kind of money. I'd be insane not to say no to say no to that kind of money. And Citadel of Dusk is ours. Perfection. Okay, so who needs a level in? Uh Rinky? Let's get you... I've already finished off. You know what? Let's get you Lightning Strike. Because it is somewhat useful. Mediocre. Uh, let's get you... Yeah, I like Soul Quench. Let's do that. And who else? Zolgar. Zolgar. I'm going to give you... Uh, immortality. Attaboy. Anyone else? Anyone else in need of some leveling? And I think with Zlitli, or whatever, maybe we can actually rank, um, fit him with some uh, skinks and then try to use him as like a skink, um, only lord or something. I don't know. I guess Tehenowin's more supposed to be the, that, but still. Okay, so we take the tip of Lustria and that should be the capes all ours. Fantastic. And can we build anything unique here? We cannot. But go for the Geomantic Pylon. Okay, I now suddenly have a crap ton of money. So I'd say let's get the Sacrificial Altar of Sotek. As well as the Shrine of the Old Ones. And I think we need to get the Geomantic Pylon stuff too. Get the upgrade to that. Upgrade that. That. And in terms of... Hmm... We will need a Cold One Cave, but not right now. Headhunter's Jungle? Oh shit. Right, the Rebellion. Thankfully, it's just Skaven. Hmm. Well, wait on the surplus. Yeah. This place? I guess we could. Sure. And go for it. Why not? Northern Great Jungle. I think it says one of those places that we need to upgrade as soon as possible because it's pretty important from what I can tell. It's good. And Croxcore Labor District. And I'm now below 10,000 buckaronis, which is of course a big no-no. So we're just going to, I guess, not worry about the other stuff right now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just can't worry about that stuff right now. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, so... Whenever possible, please go after the uh, tip of Lustria. Sure. Wait, one of our heroes hasn't moved, and that's uh, Rodak Koden, right? Hmm. Vanthus has tried to chase this guy down. Okay, I think Rodak Koden should stay here so that we can get rid of the uh, Vampiric Corruption and all that stuff. So we're fine. Oh, shoot! I forgot to do the uh, sacrifice for the... Um, Great sacrifice to Sotek or whatever. 
Because I think we need a uh, thousand captives, right? Ah, crap. And Clan Pep... What was that? Did Clan Pestilence just move? I think... I think I just saw like a flash of... Oh, no. So, wait. Who's confederated whom? Has Clan Rictus confederated Clan Pestilence? Oh, they have. Oh, no. I was deeply concerned about this. Mm. Thankfully, they're still really weak. Okay, so unfortunately, it seems that uh, due to the confederation, taking out the rest of this place won't unfortunately re um, result in the eradication of the... Um, Plant pest or the escaping from our continent. Eradicate that though. Atta boy. Let's get some more sacrifices. Stuff snatchers dead. And we have killed a thousand enemies in battle. Nice. What is this? At the start of your turn, have at least 500 sacrificial offerings. With each victory, with each pathetic Skaven body slaughtered and crushed, Sotek's worldly power grows stronger and his following. The cult of Sotek grows greater still. Even a great triumph over the ancient enemy such as this, however, cannot sta sate the rasping thirst of the serpent god for the blood and life force of his mortal enemy. Uh, mortal enemy. Tehanuin, therefore, commits wholeheartedly to the prophecy foretold upon the plaque of Sotek, happily rounding up those Skaven... Oh, sorry. Um, was it this one? Oh, there we go. Happily rounding up those Skaven knots slain in battle and preparing them for ritualistic sacrifice. The Serpent God's name. Wait, what was the next mission then? Perform the following rite. A sacrifice of... Um... Chicky Boy. Sacrifices of great importance involve, as you might expect, the ritual killing of thousands upon thousands of gibbering... Jabbering rats. Uh, rat men. And the air is filled with the with their fear musk mixed with the stench of their foul urine and the sounds of their pathetic whining and begging. Oh my god. That is disgusting. With the sacrificial victims shackled, anointed, and otherwise prepared for their ig ignominious end, uh, Tehanuin is ready for yet another great sacrifice to the uh, Sotek Serpent God. Though the venerable Slan will never permit filthy Skaven captives to enter their revered, uh, revered temple cities, the prof Prophet's ritual ceremony will nevertheless go ahead as planned. Skaven blood will be spilt this fine day. Really fucking hates the Skaven. Then again, I'd say join the club. So what do we need to do? So wait, which one's done? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Okay, so we need to do the sacrifice of Chicky Boy. Okay, so the sacrifice of Chicky Boy is... Where? Um... Oh, there we go. Ah, okay. Sure, and we should have enough, um, to do that. Ah, nice. And we've also got more sacrificial offerings from finishing that. So that's it. With Sotek's arrival finally at hand, Tehenowin lays an elaborate trap for the Skaven that he knows still dwell beneath the jungle floors of the... of Noble Lustria. If everything goes according to his plan, the remaining Skaven host will be driven back and then herded to Guacamole Crater where they will be unable to escape their certain fate. Though the Skaven outnumber the Lizardmen many times over, the Prophet's ever-growing force is empowered by their leader's undeniable vigor, and they feel assured of victory despite the seemingly insurmountable odds. Oh my god. So we get the plaque of Sotek. And that's... what, a weapon? Or no, I think it's a... Hmm... Interesting. And we get bonus experience for Tanawin, which is... A moot point, considering that he's already level 40, I think. I see. And reinforcements expected. Interesting. Very interesting. And that's different from Lord Croak, obviously. Alright, well, cool. Um, That resulted in a crap ton more um, dudes. So let's go ahead and... Great Sacrifice of Sotek. Wait. Was... Was that it? But, but, is there nothing else? That's it? I mean, but, I, I was expecting, like, something to happen, no? Oh, no. 
I don't think anything's happening. <laughs> okay, um... Then... R mediocre, let's get you it in over to the tip of Lustria. And Rinky, you can go ahead and attack the actual tip. There you go. Fantastic. Uh, I guess we can sack it. Yeah. And then occupy it. a boy. And the capes have been secured. Nice. Toy like a toyger. Okay, so who has leveled up? Um... Koal? Oh, you have. Really? But what did you do that... Okay, well, wh whatever. Let's get you bottomless quiver. And, uh, Vanthus. Let's also get you leveled up. Uh, let's get you... Ah, finish off Geomantic Sustenance. a boy. And then let's try to get you back into the mouth of Corveza. Fantastic. Okay, so... Hanawin. All we really have left to do is attack the Fortress of Dawn. Wait. They've got another hero there? Unbelievable. Alright, Zolgar, I want you to get over there and start damaging their walls and shit. And Mediocre and Rinky, you guys can chillax for a little bit. Tanawin, let's get you over to the Citadel of Dusk, because that's where we're going to be starting everything. And let's get this guy kitted out. We're actually making a decent amount of money now. Very nice. Very, very nice. And of course, we'll go for the alignment of crafting until everything is settled. Okay. I think we're good for now. Um, We'll wait until we can unlock these guys. Sweet. Okay. Oh. Slitty has become a taskmaster. When did that happen? Like just now or? Hmm. Clan Rictus. Ah. <sighs> it's unfortunate. Well, I guess the Skaven are becoming so weak that they kind of need to do that in order to stay relevant, which is fine. It's just annoying because I thought I could finish off the clan pestilence here and now, but sadly, no. All right, Tehanowin, who leveled up? Venomous has leveled up. Let's get you Woundmaker, finish that off. And I guess we'll get started with the uh, march towards... Wait, what? Why? Why would that cause casualty? Okay, well, I think we're fine. Mediocre. Follow uh, Tehanowin. Stay together, guys. Stay together. Together. Rinky. Um, what should I get you? I'm thinking since you've already got some of this, maybe, yeah, let's go for Beast Driver? Hmm, or Swift Rider. Wait, what units do you have? Ah, I see. Well, what is that? Great Invocation of Sotek. Um, type Wind, duration 6 seconds. Target ground, cannot target if on wall. Good armor piercing damage, medium fast moving area of effect. Good against armor. A great wind symbolizing the wrath of the serpent god Sotek, or serpent god, surges forth beneath the ground and consumes the enemy. That's it? That's all I get is a fucking, like, heavy gust? What the hell? You, you can't be serious. No way. Unbelievable. I think that's what I get. Jeez. Mm, wait, you don't actually have any croc score. Not yet anyways, but I mean, I probably will get you one. Mm, or we can go with Rally. Sure. Alright, Rinky. You also need to follow uh, Tehanowin. And Kowal, have you moved yet? You have not. Alright, go damage their walls if you can, please and thank you. Oh, what? They've got two stacks here? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Vanthus, where you at, boy? Hmm. Tempting. Whoa, what the? Oh, no. Lord Skrulk, where are you headed? Oh, shit. I think he's trying to take our, uh, creeping jungle here. Hmm. Okay. Buddy, I have a new assignment for you. 
I need you to search the ruins there to see if... Uh, I know it's owned by the Skaven for sure. I just need to know um, how powerful it is or if there's any uh, dudes in there that I need to watch out for. Uh, again, we'll ignore. And I think we're good for the time being. Unless I've forgotten something? No, it does not appear so. Oh shit, I should have done the growth building thing in um, that place in the volcanic islands, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, so I'm actually stronger than the Cult of Pleasure, which is interesting. Didn't expect that to happen so soon, but then again, I guess we do have another Lord in our ranks, so maybe that's what's making the difference here. It's concerning to see the Citadel of Dusk Balance of Power not be, well, non-existent. Or just completely on our... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, sequence of the Laborers, fantastic. Vanthus, I think we're gonna need you to uh, get over to the, um... To this place. Yeah, you might take some casualties along the way, but... Should be fine. Atta boy. You say, ooh, a manhood? A weird thing to say. But, fair enough. Okay, buddy. Kual, can you actually damage the Fortress of Dawn? Do it. I said do it. Atta boy. Good job. Let's level you up with an ancient Stegodon. You deserve it. Fantastic. Okay, so let's get these guys landed. Um, Wait. I don't think I can fit everyone here if I land there, so let's land from up north. I think that would make more sense, yes? Hopefully, in any case. Fantastic, and... Mediocre, who is unable to land. But... Fine. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. And then we can get more income from mines and quarries. Hmm. Should we finish these off? Maybe we should. Let's do sequence of protection. That'll increase the untainting. Oh, look, we're actually making a decent amount more money now. Holy crap. That's awesome. Ah, we can upgrade this. It's fairly cheap, so go for it. Chulchun Plains. Um, I guess. Headhunter's Jungle. You know what? Go for it. Oh, wait. What else can you upgrade here? Nothing. Oh, right. It's being uh, sieged down. That's why we can't build shit there. Got it. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Uh, I guess. Northern Spine of Sotek. Let's go for that, and also... No, I want to make sure that I have at least 10,000 buckaronis at, at any given time. Okay, I don't think I've forgotten anything else, yes? Alright, so next turn we should be able to wipe out the... Um, the uh, Citadel of Dusk. Rather unceremonious. Whoa! Really? Huh. I didn't expect these guys to show up. Oh no. Okay. Quite concerning. We're being sieged down there, which uh, I guess I kind of saw happening. What? Are you serious right now? Unbelievable. What the hell? Okay, so we have to attack him because he's in march stance. Shit. So what? Swordmasters of Hoeth, some uh, ranged dudes, and uh, a couple of phoenixes. Interesting. Hmm. And apparently Renald is with me. If you say so. Ah, uh, shit. I should have left this for the next episode, actually. Oops. My bad. Thankfully, Mediocre's army is actually decently staffed. So I think we should be alright for the most part. Okay. Let's get our spearmen at the front. Proxagors to the side, our uh, chameleons to the front, and these guys to the side as well. Salamanders, you can't really fire from inside trees. 
and Ancient Salamander. I think that's good for the time being. Okay. Well, let's actually end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and then we will um, start this fight and um, see where it goes. It's do or die for our Mediocre here, and I'm hoping it's a do rather than a die, but we'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!